Hello and welcome to my first ever hobby update. Um, I'll probably try to do these now and then just to uh, mix it up a little bit since I'll probably get less games in than I used to. So, also, please ignore the dog talking in the background. So, hobby update number one is about dwarves. So, uh, I've been working on a dwarf army uh, for maybe a couple months now. Um, for the most part, it's been a lot of building. Uh, buying uh, bits to make uh, various combinations, things like that. So we'll start with uh, these guys. Uh, these are my rangers slash quarrelers, depending on what I want to do. Um, this is the uh, Thunderous Quarrelers box from Games Workshop, uh, mixed in with uh, shoulder pads from the Longbeards and shields from the Longbeards. Uh, you can see it from the side. And then from the back. So, um, I saw somewhere, probably on the Bugman's Brewery Forum, the, the door forum, uh, some guys had some pictures where they had put shoulder pads on and shields, and I thought that looked real cool. So, I uh, I copied that. Uh, I only have five done. I'm going to do a lot more, um, just so I can actually have corollaries if I want, or more than one unit of rangers. But um, I thought it was a pretty good use of those kits. It, it really helps the uh, Thunderous Corollaries kits match up with the uh, size of, of the current other kits, like the, the Iron Breakers and Longbeards are, are a lot taller. So this kind of fills them out a little bit more. Um, next we go into the Flame Cannon. Uh, this was not the old metal model. I got it off eBay and holy crap, is it a bear to put together. Um, other side, it's just really, really heavy. Um, the pieces don't necessarily line up that well. I mean, okay, they line up fine, but they're basically flush surfaces that you need to pin because, yeah, sure, glue it. It's going to fall apart in like two minutes. But um, overall, I mean, it looks pretty cool, um, and I really like the guy on the back. Um, I probably spent way too much time on his front since you can't see it anyway. Uh, but he was really cool, so I kind of like the addition of him being on there. Um, It'd be pretty hard to do it without him on there being he's holding on to the, or his hands are already attached to the wheel. So, uh, maybe it'll come out to play or not. I kind of like it. Um, so, and another thing to port, like, uh, my whole theme for this was attempting to be, uh, like, Napoleon in the desert. So, everybody should be, have fairly clean looking uh, armor, fairly clean looking gear, uh, but then try to be in, like, a deserty theme. So... Yeah, I think it's okay, and it's either going to be, uh, my main colors are, are basically purples and greens. So, here is one of my engineers. Uh, looks like it's falling over, but he's not. Um, this is one of the old metal ones. I actually like the old metal ones. Some of those newer ones are way too busy. They just have way too much stuff going on. So, and there's backside, and uh, the base for these are from... Somewhere on eBay, it's like a shale base or something. But they're, they're really easy to use and put together. So uh, Next we come up to 20 uh, Thunderers uh, with full command. So again, the Thunder is the same as the Quarrelers slash Rangers. Um, the Games Workshop boxes uh, got a bunch of um, shoulder bits from both my Longbeards boxes and from eBay resellers. So... Normally you can get about ten shoulder bits for two three dollars. I mean it's a it's a really bad deal if you consider that the whole amount of plastic you're buying, but it really helps these guys look uh, more unique. Uh, the uh, I saw this once with a banner. Uh, my wife painted that for me. Yeah, I, I like to call it the, the Bob Rossing of the banner. Um, but I saw someone do this on the door forum, so I asked her to do one, and she had a really good time making it. So I'll probably have more of these in the future. And again, those guys from the back, so they all have shields. Um, the Thunderers are the, the blue-purplish kind of look. So I, I actually really like like these guys. I think they came out pretty good. Here's a close-up of the command from the front. Command from the back. Uh, just a, a grab of the regular guys. Um, I kind of was all over the place with the uh, hair colors. The beard, I didn't know what color I was going to do yet, and I think it's okay that I went around a little bit. Um, 
So, yeah, maybe uh, maybe I'll pick something out more specific in the future, but, you know, a little gray, a little brown, a little red, a little blonde. So, one for the side and the other side. Uh, I have two runesmiths painted, uh, one for each of my color settings. So, the the guys who are blue, purplish, uh, generally match up with a uh, uh, steel-looking metal scheme, and the guys who are greenish uh, get matched up with the bronze. So, uh... I did it these ways. Uh, I really liked this this model. It was a very pleasure to put together and paint. Um, I realized after I did the RuneSmith on the right that I did my uh, light to dark for both of the flame and the uh, item in the wrong order. So it should have been dark on the outside and light on the inside. So it's like an inverse fire. So I just sticking with it. Yeah, just sticking with it. it it'll work. So those guys from the back, <clears throat> again, very nice model, and I like those shale bases. They uh, they help distinguish the uh, special guys pretty well. Uh, some artillery here. We have uh, cannon. This is the fourth edition, I think, cannon. Um, I had played a little bit way, way, way back when, and so I had some of these sitting around. So here's another side of that. Uh, organ gun. I got this off eBay. It's a older edition Oregon gun, which I think is way cooler looking than the current one. Um, metal model, a little bit of a bear to put together, but uh, I think it looks really nice. Uh, Grudge thrower. This is the current fine cast, and this was one of the worst uh, fine cast models I have gotten. I mean, I've never really liked fine cast very much, but this one was really warped uh, and required a lot of finesse to get to actually sit even reasonably close so thank you for what it is uh it's okay it's a fun model to play with uh just was a, a bear to paint and just try to look decent because it's not that complicated to put together it's just ugh. and we have gyrocopter uh i don't recall where this base comes from um probably most of the most of the bases i just get off ebay um uh, just search for either like 40 millimeter flyer base or something, you know, and then you'll get a, you'll get a bunch of them. You just have to try to filter out the round ones and the square ones. Uh, but otherwise, this is just the Games Workshop flyer kit or a gyrocopter kit. So he looks pretty cool. Um, uh, my wife used the airbrush to do a gradient on the copter body. Uh, I'm not used to painting anything that that's big of a flattened surface. Um, just because doing fantasy, you don't have big flat surfaces that much. So this was a little bit of a different trick to paint. Um, there's the back of it. Now, it's funny. Um, <clears throat> we 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 painted this gyrocopter before we put together, and we I should have taken pictures of it or something. But my wife did an immaculate job on all of the wood paneling inside the cockpit. So there's a lot of wood paneling on both the floors and the sides, and and then like he has a whole control panel and stuff inside of there. Well, you can't see any of it, of course. And just like I spent uh, a lot of time painting the, the pilot, doing all the blending on his legs and his back and everything, and you can't see any of that. So that's just something to watch out for in the future, I guess. Um, if somebody ever breaks this and, and was like, oh, wow, this looks really nice on the inside, you know, I, that would be funny. But uh, I think it came out really cool. I really like the base. Um, and I think it fits pretty well as long as you, you color it appropriately. So... Uh, that's it where I am right now with the dwarves. This is the last slide. Uh, the next, the, I'm finishing uh, my beastman list for a GT right now, so I won't have any more dwarves to do for a little bit. Um, but I do have uh, 30 long beards with great weapons, 20 iron breakers, and probably about 20 iron drakes to do in the future. Uh, I have another engineer and a thane I need to get put together. So I'll have a lot more painting coming up, um, but painting the dwarves has been really pleasant as a contrast to painting the beastmen. Um, a lot less skin, um, a lot more uh, metal and, and stuff that I, I, I'm enjoying the, the switch. So uh, otherwise, uh, thanks for watching. Leave any comments or anything you guys think that would be a little uh, interesting to do or anything like that. And this is just a, an attempt just to show what I've done. So thanks.